What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at my traditional folders here. Um, I realized on my first video that I made, huge mistake, for some reason the last part got totally deleted, so you missed a few of my knives on display, mainly my traditionals, which I was really upset about because I really love these guys, and I want to give you guys a chance to see them. So as you can see, no shaky hand hopefully because I now have a tripod, so we'll see how this goes. Um, so these are my traditional knives. Absolutely love every one of these guys, and they're devoted to their own little spot in my case. Um, so let's get started. So my first traditional knife, was this my first one? No, I think it was this one. So this was my first one that I got. I'll put that off to the side. So this is a buck, I think it's 55, I think is the number. And this was a custom. See if you can see that. Yeah, so it's a buck custom. It's got a nice mirror polish on the blade. And it's actually numbered 119 out of a thousand. So really, really love this knife. Lock back, really nice to finish. It's really the first uh, non-modern folder I got, maybe about 10 years or so ago. And uh, really made me appreciate um, traditional knives, uh, locking, back lock. And I just really love the size of it. I thought it was really perfect for me. Fit in my little pocket and just a nice little company knife to have. So that was my first knife. Let you guys take a look at that. If I let her focus. So it has some brass pins. Mirror polish. On the blade. And the back spring. But yeah, I thought it was really cool. I thought they did a really good job on this, so... I ended up getting it, and uh, this is kind of what started the obsession of little uh, two hand opening knives. So let's take a look at some of the other ones I got. So that's that guy. The next guy I got was this little guy. This was a, a little case peanut with some burnt uh, stag bone. Again, it's got that really nice brass spacers. Everything's nice and seamless, brass pins. Two bladed. This one unfortunately is not centered, if you can see. This blade right here is like really hugging that spot. But you know, this is kind of the the charm of these little traditional knives is they don't really you know, some of them aren't centered. Some will have a little play here, but you know, that's not why you get them there. There's something really awesome about having these little guys. That kind of reminds you of like the past. It's really nice to hold, no lock on them. So you're a little more careful about it. You obviously have to use two hands. Whoa, and my tripod just got knocked over. I have no idea why. Oh, technical difficulties, people. Always technical difficulties on these videos. But yeah, this is an awesome little knife. As you can see, this is a little cadet for size comparison. Pretty small. Really handy, fits perfectly in your little wash pocket, your little coin pocket, and your jeans. And it's a great backup knife. Put that off to the side. All right, my next one, number GEC, Great Eastern Cutlery. And they really are amazing piece of cutlery. This is the uh, 71 Farm and Field. This is the, what the hell is this? Natural Canvas Micarta? I think so. But this one has a lot of patina on it. This one's my 01 steel. I have no idea why this tripod's not staying still, but I'll try to be careful, guys. So, heavy patina on this. Definitely use this one a lot. Love to use this one. It's kind of like my camping knife. Love whittling with this guy. Now you get a chance to see the 01 steel. And some of the beauty marks on this guy. Again, part of the charm of this guy is, of a lot of the traditional knives, is that, you know, they're old school, but not your modern folders. They have a, this one's got a heavy snap on it, but this one just fits perfectly in the hand. I've sharpened this one myself, so, see, you probably can't even see the edge, but, nice fine thin edge on it, really, really sharp. And just fits really well in the hand. This little... This portion right here kind of swoops in, really locks your finger into place. And the fit and finish on this is superb. Looks beautiful, nice strong back spring. 
It's a great knife. Honestly, if you don't have the need for a nice big modern fold, this the this is the one to get. I'm pretty sure you can get some more variations of these. Maybe not in the canvas micarta, which you guys can see there, but maybe some other. I think delirium. I don't know if I said that right, but that's that's what I've been seeing a lot of. They have plenty of those in stock. What's kind of interesting about this is that. Focus. You can see the pin is a little proud, so it kind of juts out, which I always found to be very interesting. It was like everything is perfectly seamless here, but then like it dips in, makes that pin slightly proud. But whatever, I think this is an awesome everyday carry. Perfect, uh, like a lot of this is like a little backup. This one's just perfect to have in your pocket, and that'll be your knife for the day. It was my knife for the day for many days. And you let it get a patina, looks great, becomes your own. <laughs> yeah. So that's the 71. Great knife. This looks great, feels great. Awesome knife. Okay, next one. Alright, another GEC, the Northfield. Amber Bone. spear point. So this one is the 77. Mod number on that is 2115. Again, this is for the north field and beautiful amber bone on that. Look how gorgeous that looks. This is a bit more of my dress uh, traditional knife. I've been carrying this one a lot. Obviously it's got some of that patina on it. kind of that nice blue patina it's from you know cutting some apples cutting some lemons avocados sandwiches whatever whatever tomatoes whatever you got that day you cut it it gives you that really cool patina compare that with get out of the way compare that with that heavy patina on this one this one looks like it went through like a swamp this one looks like it's a bit more of like a rustic look to it but I love this little spear point in the blade if it probably will never focus it's a little better they did a really cool swedge on that thinned it out really nicely it's like a little scalpel this thing is crazy sharp really good really small really nice and compact fix your hands perfectly great everyday carry just give you an idea of the size how that compares my cat's going